Hi, this is Dr. Skladeni. Uh, this is a brief tutorial on the vocal uh, apparatus. All right, let's just go over the basics. This is looking down onto the larynx with a rigid endoscope. This is a schematic. And you see highlighted here the epiglottis. All right, airy epiglottic folds are highlighted here on both sides coming up from the arytenoid cartilages the piriform sinuses all right are highlighted on both sides of the larynx lateral to the larynx interarytenoid space is the space between the arytenoid cartilages when the vocal folds are abducted here are the vocal folds themselves. Here are the false vocal folds, also known as the ventricular folds, which are lateral to and slightly above or superior to the true vocal folds. All right, cuneiform cartilages uh, sit on top or on the apex of the arytenoid cartilages. I'm sorry, uh, I'm sorry, corniculate cartilages sit on the very, very tops of the arytenoid cartilage. The cuneiform cartilage lies somewhere within this epiglottic fold. Trachea is inferior to the larynx. Laryngeal ventricle is a term that we haven't really covered before, but it's, it's essentially it's the space between the true vocal folds and the false vocal folds. All right, now uh, you're looking at the cartilages of the larynx. All right, unpaired cartilage is the epiglottis. Unpaired cartilage is the thyroid cartilage. Unpaired cartilage is the corniculate, I'm sorry, the cricoid cartilage. All right, so three unpaired cartilages, epiglottis, thyroid cartilage, and most inferior is the cricoid cartilage. Let me turn the... Um, larynx around. All right. Here again you see the epiglottis, you see the thyroid cartilage on both sides, and you see the cricoid cartilage. All right. All right, here you're looking at the larynx from above. All right, this is anterior, this is posterior. All right, you're looking here at the hyoid bone, superior. You are looking at the airy epiglottic folds coming laterally and off of the both the epiglottis and the arytenoid cartilages. All right, now you are looking at the side view. You see the epiglottis. You see the hyoid bone. All right, you see the thyroid cartilage. You see the cricoid cartilage. You see the trachea down below it. All right. Now, let's take a look at uh, some terms that we had talked about, all right? Um, you see this membrane here, all right? 
and this is known as the hyothyroid membrane or the thyrohyoid membrane because it is the membrane that connects the hyoid bone to the thyroid cartilage. Right here in the center would be the median hyothyroid ligament. And then you have two lateral hyothyroid ligaments. All right, those would be considered extrinsic, an extrinsic membrane, and extrinsic ligaments. An intrinsic membrane and an intrinsic ligament would be the cricothyroid membrane, all right, which connects the cricoid cartilage and the thyroid cartilage. And right here in the center, all right, you have the cricothyroid ligament. All right, let's look here then um, in the side view. In the side view, you're, you're being shown a muscle. All right, and the muscle that you're being shown is the thyro, the cricothyroid muscle. All right, here's the pars recta portion, and here's the pars oblique portion. Let's take a look at the back of the larynx. All right. And this muscle here is the PCA, all right, posterior cricoarytenoid. The LCA comes from the side of the cricoid cartilage up to the arytenoid cartilages, all right. What you see here is the oblique interarytenoids, the interarytenoids. You see the oblique going from base to tip of the arytenoid cartilage, from base to tip, and you see the transverse interarytenoids going from side to side. Now, let's look at the top. The muscle that you see here are the, is the TA muscle. Remember, the TA muscle makes up the vocal folds. The most medial aspect of the vocal folds is made up by vocal ligament. And then you have the TA muscle. The TA muscle comes in two bellies or portions. The most lateral is the vocalis. I'm sorry. The most medial is the vocalis callus. The most lateral right here is the thyromuscularis. All right. All right. Here you see a little bit of a cutaway view of the larynx, which shows the supraglottic space. The glottic space, all right, and the subglottic space, also known as infraglottic space. So supraglottic is everything above the true vocal folds. The glottic space is at the level of the true vocal folds, and the subglottic space is below the level of the true vocal folds. All right, uh, I'm going to stop for now and then I'm going to come back and do another tutorial uh, in addition to this. This is just an overview.